another quick question here from Ian Stannard, although it's a long question. Uh, I've been following with some interest the theme in certain videos about CPU limitations when enabling raid facing. I have a Ryzen 3700X and RTX 3090 GPU, and I noticed that the benchmark in Watchdog's Legion, Watchdog Legions with uh, raid facing on and at a reasonably high quality setting stutters at around 50 frames per second and isn't noticeably alleviated by dropping down to 1080p. Could frame rate be CPU uh, bottlenecks in these circumstances? Spoiler, yes. If so, would Ryzen 5800X3D be an effective upgrade or would it be worth investing a little more and upgrading to one of AMD slash Intel's upcoming next gen but, platforms but before you answer that i love that he called it watchdog legions that's mm -hmm. fantastic <laughs> watchdog legions. watchdog yeah. legions the watchdog legions <laughs> alex i mean well we're, we're going to go back to the to the whole mm -hmm. ryzen uh, 3000 line which I, I see it as a sort of stepping stone to the, to the excellence of ryzen 5000 but it wasn't anywhere near the final complete product especially for gaming right? yeah right like that's the thing is like i upgraded to ryzen uh, what was it, 3900X um, for the, the work PC there. And it helped a lot. But at the end of the day, there would always, there's still scenarios where that gen of Ryzen is still not that great. Um, and it just shows up really heavily, I think, in the ray tracing titles, usually um, for whatever reason. Uh, well, there's a lot of reasons, but that's one reason. Uh, and I think there, yeah, you definitely are. I'm surprised that you only say it in the benchmark because in that game, I would expect it way more in the world than in the benchmark. The world there, like as you're moving around in it, like that is a really CPU heavy game. And you would definitely see those stutters in the game world too. So I'm surprised you only mentioned in the benchmark here. Um, but the question of upgrades, 5800X 3D is a really good processor and you'd keep the motherboard, I presume. I don't know what motherboard you have. I presume you would. And you'd get all the benefits of it for the most part. I presume also rebar and things like that, assuming your motherboard is cool with that. That is compelling, but we're, on, we're like upgrading right now on the cusp of a new generation of CPUs and um, from Intel and AMD, where you can see like, you can get a sense of the field better at that point after the reviews have come out and the prices maybe settle in a little bit. Then I think that's the time when you make your decision uh, where you could either upgrade on the same path you had or actually maybe start a new motherboard uh, upgrade path. Uh, so I don't want to say anything right now other than wait until the, the CPU motherboard landscape is a bit more, uh, I forget the word in English. It's like when you can see it, Mature. you can see the breadth of it much better than we can right now pre-release. I think, you know, in terms of the most cost-effective upgrade, it's definitely the 5800X 3D. Yeah, it's great. Because you just, you're just buying the chip. Uh, what we don't know is what memory you've got with that 3700X um, you've, you've got to have like 3200 megahertz Minimal. Uh, low latency or, or 3600 megahertz to really get the most out of that chip. And it's the same, but to a lesser extent on uh, the, the 5800X3D there. So possibly think about memory as well, if you've got slow memory in there at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think the, the 5800X3D is an excellent processor for extending the life of your current platform. Um, I guess games like Marvel Spider-Man are starting to suggest that CPU and certainly Unreal Engine 5 uh, CPU is going to be a lot more important going forward. Way more. I will. Yeah. I got to hand it to AMD for keeping the same slot design for so long, the, mm -hmm. for the CPU package. That's really, that's really great to be able to sort of keep a motherboard in place for a long time if you well, prefer that way. What's actually happened there is that they've retroactively added support to the new processors to the older boards. Yeah, and some specifically boards don't to, get it. Yeah, specifically to keep people within the AM4 socket in ecosystem. But there was quite a lot of segregation yeah. um, on even within that generation. It's just at the end of the generation, they've seen that Alder Lake from Intel is actually really good. How do you keep people with AMD? The answer is exactly the, the situation facing Ian here, which is, well, you know, if you can uh, get good, you know, a really good performance uplift by just upgrading the processor and your BIOS, mm -hmm. that's actually a really compelling uh, proposition. But yeah, interesting yep. stuff there.